All right, so welcome to my rooftop uh, on this chilly winter afternoon. Um, as promised, this is the scouring rush. Equisitum Hymali. Hymali. Equisitum Hymali. Uh, it's called scouring rush because it has this silica. It's also called, actually, it's also called the rough scouring rush. The rough scouring rush. Because it has this, this rough bump here, and that's from the silica. It, in the silica, you can actually take your dishes in the old days and scrub with them. Because that silica breaks off stuff, I guess. Um, it's also called uh, horsetail as well. It's also called horsetail as well. So I guess the roots or something look like a horsetail. I'm not actually sure. And actually, it, this has really deep underground stems. This is a perennial. It's actually an evergreen. As you can see, we're in the winter, in the cold winter. You can see my breath. And uh, this is this is still growing and green, so it's an evergreen. And it has these deep underground roots or rhizomes, deep underground roots that are black. They're black. And then they shoot off, uh, they shoot off more stems. So this thing is really hard to get rid of if it's in your yard. Um, the equisetums are like sometimes called Lego plants because you can, this one's a little more difficult, but you, they fall apart and you can put them together, put them back together. Um, unlike the smooth scouring rush, the smooth scouring rush, uh, which is smooth instead of rough, that's Equisetum lavigatum. Um, this is going to have this, this sheath and these teeth. Let's see if we can find any teeth here. Maybe we'll do a close up here in a minute. But it's going to have these teeth and these teeth fall off. These teeth fall off on both lavigatum, the smooth, and on hyamali. It doesn't branch. It doesn't branch, so it doesn't have these little branches coming off like you would see on common horsetail, Equisetum arvensi. Once in a while you may see though, if it gets disturbed or broken or cut, you'll see these, these new shoots coming off, but this isn't truly branched. This has just been damaged, and so it's shooting up, shooting up, so it's still usually keeps this unbranched structure, unbranched structure. It's monomorphic, it's monomorphic, which means that the flop, the, the spore, the, the, um, the, the, the fertile individual looks the same as the non-fertile, unlike, again, something like Equisetum arvensi. And we'll talk about the cone here in a minute, and that cone has a very special structure that can separate this also from smooth uh, uh, scouring rush. There's uh, Equisetum lavigatum. This again is Equisetum hyamali. Equisetum hyamali. So, another indicative thing about this species, if I can remember all the, the cool things with it, is scouring rush has, uh, rough scouring rush has this band. Usually it has a dark band around and then it has this gray, this gray band around. So let's see if we can see a better one. Like, uh, nah, this is good. So here we have it broken. I just I just cut the equisetum, uh, so you can see how the hollow the hollow centrum that open hollow part there. Um, it the usually is about two thirds to three fourths the size of the stem. See, look how wide that is. How big it is. Uh, it has these obvious follicular furrows in the stem. That's see those furrows. There's a good technical name, you know, go around and say follicular furrows in the stem. Makes you sound smart. Um, again, we have that, that belt, that brown belt there. There we go. I think we got it better there. You see that? You see the, kind of the teeth? And then there's the, the messy roots, the hollow. So it has that hollow underground black rhizome again. And then one thing that, that, uh, What's really cool about these is you have this, oops, uh, let's focus, let's focus, zoom out, there we go. We have this, um, this stromboli. It's not really a stromboli, I'm just hungry for stromboli. It's stroboli, 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 stromboli, I'm just thinking about strombolis. Um, or you could just call it a cone, that's what other people do. And it has this, this point on the top, this sharp tip on the top. And that's going to separate it from something like lavigatum. And lavigatum has a uh, has a rounded top. It doesn't have that point on the top. Again, it's monomorphic. 
Um, so the flowering, or the flowering, it's, it's not a flowering plant, it's a fern, goofballs, um, is the same as the, the fertile is the same as the sterile. 